Is life a struggle against entropy? A lot of times you'll hear people talk about life as a struggle against increasing entropy. That's crazy. That's like saying my life is a struggle against eating food. I think that eating food is really important. In fact, it literally is a transfer of low entropy into high entropy. Think about my favorite example is the sun, okay? What does the sun do for us here on Earth? And if you ask people, you know, what good is the sun for biology and the ecosystem here on Earth, we get energy from the sun, right? It's true, but it's not the whole story. It's not even the important part of the story. The important part is we get sunlight and most of it is in the visible wavelengths of light, right? So we get a certain set of photons with certain energies and then we absorb them. And what do we do? We convert them into higher entropy forms of energy. The Earth radiates into space more or less exactly the same amount of energy as it gets from the sun, but it radiates it in a much higher entropy form. For every one photon of energy we get from the sun, we radiate 20 photons of light back into the universe with on average 1 20th of the energy each, but the total has 20 times the entropy.